गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स है माई नेम इज लक्ष्मी नारायण पीजीटी बॉटनी मॉडल स्कूल आत्मकूर एस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई कैन वे माई थैंक्स टू अवर ऑनरेबल डीओ सर एंड डी सी बी टेक्निकल स्टाफ मेंबर्स फॉर गिविंग दिस ऑपॉर्चुनिटी स्टूडेंट्स डे बाय डे पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग बट फूड प्रोडक्शन इज नॉट इंक्रीजिंग people are suffering with uh, different types of uh, nutrients uh, deficiency diseases okay we have to give a suggestion or solution we have to solve this problem that's that's why we have to increase the food production today our topic is uh, challenges in improving agricultural products today lesson learning outcomes you can find out the importance of vermicompost you will learn the procedure of soil testing how to do soil testing or what are the materials are required for soil testing what are the uses of soil testing all the things uh, you you may learn uh, you will learn uh, in today's class and uh, you will get an idea about panchagavya what are the ingredients of panchagavya what are the uses of panchagavya all the things uh, we will discuss uh, today's class and next uh, you should explain the procedure of preparation of vermicompost how to prepare the vermicompost what are the benefits of vermicompost what are the precautions we have to take uh, while preparation of vermicompost you can find out the differences uh, between organic manure and chemical manures uh, okay whether we have to use organic manure and chemical manures uh, all the things uh, find out uh. next uh, you will tell the uses um, vermicompost uh, to your parents uh, not to use chemical fertilizers uh, only use vermicompost uh, in the same manner uh, you may express uh, your feelings uh, your opinion to your parents yes in the previous online classes uh, we studied uh, these things uh, why these things are helpful uh, to improve the food production following methods uh, useful to increase the food production these methods are helpful to increase the food production okay to how, how we can increase the food production um, increase the area of cultivated land in case year today this year we are cultivating 10 acres of land uh, the next year we have to cultivate uh, 15 acres of land uh, or 20 acres of land uh, we have to increase the area of cultivated land uh, at that time we will get sufficient amount of food materials people will not suffer with a deficiency of nutrients diseases in the same manner in the previous class you learnt high yielding varieties use high yielding varieties like in cotton jadu seeds jadu cotton seeds they will get give us more yielding the farmers also benefited uh, and uh, we also uh, benefited uh, in the same manner in the rice also different types of varieties are there uh, we know that uh, and, uh, like uh, sama masuri sona masuri and ratna jaya these are some of the varieties of rice uh, we, we get a uh, high yielding uh, with the help of uh, these varieties uh, okay in this manner we have to increase the food production next thing uh, you learned uh, in previous class uh, about crop rotation what is crop rotation can anyone give answer yes very good crop rotation means uh, not to cultivate uh, every year same type of crops not to cultivate every year uh, paddy crop we have to change the crop uh, this year if we can case uh, we cultivate a paddy next year we have to cultivate uh, 
other crops like red gram green gram or cotton plants or sorghum plants or other plants in this manner we have to change the crop the crop rotation method also helpful as as here uh, red gram green gram belongs to which family members yes very good they are belongs to fabaceae family plants Fabaceae family plants have some special roots. Uh, anyone can give the answer. Good. Uh, root nodules. Uh, Fabaceae family plants contain root nodules. In the root nodules, uh, rhizobium bacteria present. Uh, and rhizobium bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates and ammonia. In this manner. Uh, It is increasing the fertility levels of the soil. Okay, that's why we have to cultivate um, uh, Fabaceae family plants. Okay, crop rotation is helpful. Next one, cultivating mixed crops. We have to cultivate uh, two varieties of plants uh, like red gram and haldi and uh, cabbage and uh, groundnut. Uh, or cotton and um, groundnut uh, or cotton and uh, red gram uh, those also give uh, benefits to farmers uh, okay cultivate uh, mixed crops uh, at the time of mixed crops uh, some of the plants supply nutrient materials uh, to the soil uh, with the help of those nutrient materials uh, uh, here uh, the fertility levels of the soil increases uh, automatically we will benefited uh, with the same thing uh, okay next another one uh, cultivating uh, short term crops uh, if we can cultivate uh, uh, short term crops uh, it means uh, in short duration of time uh, the harvesting period may occurs uh, at that time also we may increase the food production uh, In uh, in the olden days, uh, we have to cultivate uh, paddy. After one year, we may harvest the paddy crop. But nowadays, uh, we are observing that uh, within uh, four months of time or within six months of time, uh, we are getting the crop. In this manner, uh, if we can cultivate the short term crops, uh, this may also helpful to us. Okay, these are things uh, we know very well. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, some more topics uh, for the production of uh, food. Uh, okay, for for the improvement uh, to improve the food products. Uh, okay, these methods are also helpful one. Uh, okay, what is the first one today we are discussing? Soil testing. soil testing is helpful one next one is uh, vermi compost another one panchagavya okay these three topics uh, today we are discussing uh, first one is the uh, soil testing how we may know the soil testing uh, whether our soil belongs to alkaline or acidic uh, some of the simple experiments are there these are the primary these will give primary information about our soil okay if we can add a vinegar to our soil sample at the time air bubbles appear we considered it as alkaline soil in another manner in case we add a baking soda solution to soil air bubbles occur the soil is acidic in this manner we can find out our soil whether it is alkaline or acidic one okay soil testing uses okay soil testing uses here what is the use of soil testing soil testing is useful to farmers to know what type of crops to be cultivated in their field which type crop they have to cultivate all the things find out with the help of this soil testing okay whether they have to cultivate paddy crop 
or uh, vegetable crops uh, or flowering plants uh, in their field uh, the information they will get uh, with the help of uh, soil testing uh, and uh, the soil testing is also helpful uh, to select the type of fertilizer uh, which type of fertilizer they have to use in how much amount of quantity they have to use all the things also they can find out uh, with the help of uh, the soil testing uh, here uh, in the soil in their soil uh, uh, whether uh, nitrogen deficiency is there or sodium deficiency is there potassium magnesium calcium any element uh, deficiency is there uh, uh, we may also find out uh, with the help of soil testing centers uh, and uh, it uh, soil testing is also helpful uh, to prevent uh, wastage and uh, minimize investment uh, okay blindly we can't use any type of uh, fertilizer or any material uh, in our land or we, we can't uh, uh, cultivate uh, any the crop uh, we have to check it first uh, then we have to cultivate uh, the plants uh, it may give us uh, better results uh, okay next uh, here one of the uh, small kit is available uh, in markets also this is the ph test ph test kit uh, with the help of this kit also we can find out uh, whether uh, our soil is belongs to acidic one whether uh, our soil is alkaline one for this purpose we have to take a little amount of a soil sample um, the soil sample uh, whenever we can take the soil sample some of the precautions uh, we have to take uh, okay your um, depending upon the cultivation of uh, uh, crops uh, we have to take the soil sample uh, whether we have to take the soil from uh, three inches of uh, depth uh, or five inches of depth or more than five inches of depth uh, that uh, depends upon cultivation of crops uh, we may find out uh, which type of materials are present uh, in our soil okay well, we, we took uh, some amount of um, uh, soil sample and uh, pour a little amount of water uh, at the time uh, the color of the water changes uh, with the help of the color we are finding the uh, ph uh, whether it is 6 or 7 or 8 uh, how much ph is there uh, in our soil uh, with the help of color we are finding a yes, here different colors are available when we observe this color it is uh, dark green uh, I think uh, it is um, 7.5 alkaline nature. This soil is belongs to alkaline one. If it is uh, seven, uh, seven means uh, neutral one. It is uh, below the seven. Uh, it soil belongs to acidic nature. Okay. In this manner, uh, your uh, pH kit also pH test kit also helpful to find out uh, whether our soil belongs to the acidic one. Or alkaline one, and uh, your uh, agriculture officer and the soil testing technologists are available in every area to test the soil uh, in mandal level and district level. Um, uh, in Busara Pariksha Kendra, are available in, in those centers. Uh, these officers uh, give complete uh, information about our soil. In Busara Pariksha Kendra Soil Testing Center, we heard the word so many times. Uh, Busara Pariksha Kendra test the our test our soil. Uh, test the soil. Uh, the soil technologist collects soil samples uh, from fields and test the fertility levels of our soil. Uh, which nutrients uh, deficiency is there in our soil? Uh, which fertilizer we have to use? Uh, which crop we have to cultivate, uh, every information we may get uh, with the help of uh, those uh, uh, scientists, technologists, uh, and agriculture officers. Um, yes, um, here one of the activities is available. Friends, today I am conducting a, a small lab activity. For this lab activity, we 
required soil sample water and beaker funnel test tube and a ph paper all these are required yes here uh, with the help of uh, uh, these materials um, okay soil sample and uh, water and beaker we have to pour a little amount of soil uh, uh, in this beaker and add a little amount of uh, uh, water uh, then we have to filter it uh, uh, we have to take the filtrate into a test tube uh, then we have to place a ph paper at the time ph paper color changes first of all it is a brown in color uh, gradually that ph paper color changes into uh, which color here green color dark green color dark green color means uh, the ph is yellow yes here uh, the ph is yellow this experiment is uh, helpful to us uh, to find out the soil uh, ph levels uh, whether it is uh, yellow ph so our soil belongs to yellow uh, or whether our soil ph belongs to two two means uh, our soil ph is acidic one whether our soil ph is seven means seven means uh, soil is the neutral one okay like this experiment uh, we can find out uh, whether our soil is uh, acidic one or uh, alkaline one okay these uh, are the primary techniques uh, to know our soil sample alkaline or acidic one is yes, uh, this photograph uh, is clearly indicating our soil ph uh, here soil ph is yellow dark greenish color uh, yellow ph is the yellow one alkaline soil is yes, uh, up to now we discussed uh, about the soil testing and a uh, second topic today our second topic uh, is the vermicompost students uh, anyone can say what is vermicompost excellent uh, the compost uh, which is prepared uh, with the help of earthworms is called uh, vermicompost if in case uh, we have to uh, prepare uh, vermicompost uh, in large quantity we have to construct the uh, beds uh, vermicompost beds uh, in 10 into 1 into 1 by 2 meters uh, okay in sheds uh, which protect uh, these beds uh, from direct uh, sunlight and rain the thing is already done in uh, andhra pradesh state nellore district vinjamur place uh, they grow uh, these vermicompost uh, very well uh, they prepared the vermicompost uh, they got uh, better results than previous one okay uh, in this manner first of all we have to construct the beds uh, then made the beds uh, 3 to 4 inches layers with uh, coconut uh, banana and sugar cane leaves uh, coconut coir uh, and dry black gram plants also used uh, for this uh, material okay for this uh, vermicompost preparation uh, these uh, dry leaves are essential uh, main important one uh, coconut leaves banana leaves uh, and coconut coir uh, dry black gram plants the inner layer was wet with water uh, okay uh, uh, two to four hours uh, we have to sprinkle little amount of water uh, to Uh, maintain uh, humidity condition or uh, wet conditions uh, the bed is filled with uh, dry cattle dung don't use uh, wet cattle dung in the same manner at the time of using uh, the waste material uh, avoid uh, plastic bags and plastic materials uh, and uh, glass related items uh, don't use those items uh, okay Uh, remove those items whenever you are preparing the vermicompost 
after two weeks of making bed, uh, uh, we have to kept uh, thousand earthworms per square meters. Uh, how many number of earthworms approximately? Yes, thousand number of earthworms are required uh, per square meter. Uh, then what we have to do here? Uh, we have to cover cover the we have to cover the beds. Uh, we have to cover the beds with um, gunny bags to maintain 30 to 40 percent of uh, moisture. Uh, we have to maintain. Um, okay, how much uh, moisture we required uh, for the growth of vermicompost? 30 to 40 percent of moisture is required uh, for the growth of the vermicompost uh, for the better preparation of uh, vermicompost. Uh, Next, uh, after 60 days, we get the first manure. Uh, how many days we are getting the manure? 60 days. Then we are getting a uh, second time manure uh, after 40 to 45 days. Um, this year, we are getting uh, one ton of vermicompost uh, from three tons of waste materials. Um, whenever we can use uh, these vermicompost, look here, uh, the food production will increase uh, with the help of uh, vermicompost uh, like this. Uh, we can get good results uh, whenever we can use the vermicompost. Uh, don't use chemical fertilizers. Uh, use only vermicompost like uh, organic fertilizers. Uh, okay, vermicompost, cow dung only. Better one not to use chemical fertilizers. Chemical fertilizer cause harm to the nature. They cause uh, soil pollution, water pollution, and harmful effects on human beings uh, because um, we eat uh, these food products. Uh, in case um, we use uh, chemical fertilizers uh, in our fields, uh, those uh, chemical fertilizers uh, 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 chemicals uh, may present uh, some of uh, some amount of chemicals uh, may deposited uh, in these grains. Uh, those grains uh, we can we will eat uh, at the time. They, uh, they cause uh, different uh, cancer like diseases uh, in human beings. Um, okay, that's why don't use uh, chemical fertilizers. Uh, use only organic manures. Uh, yes. Um, here, um, uh, every year uh, we get manure six times from the beds. Uh, okay, in every year we will get the six times uh, with vermicompost. Uh, we will get uh, one ton of compost from three tons of organic waste. Um, what is the use of this vermicompost? It can reduce the chemical fertilizers and pesticides and quality of the agricultural products increased uh, by using the vermicompost. Uh, yes, uh, today what the topic uh, we discussed, uh, first one is the soil testing. Uh, what is the use of soil testing? Soil testing is helpful. Uh, which type of crop we have to cultivate? Uh, which type of crop we have? Uh, crop we don't cultivate, uh, not to cultivate. Uh, is which fertilizers uh, we have to use uh, in how much of quantity uh, we have to use um, to know the soil test is helpful. And the second thing uh, is uh, vermicompost. Uh, is what is vermicompost? Vermicompost means um, compost which is prepared uh, with the help of earthworms uh, that is the vermicompost. Uh, I say here uh, some of the uses of vermicompost are there. Uh, it will increase the disease resistance capacity in plants. Uh, the plants which are growing in our field, uh, they have high resistance capacity. No bacteria and the virus uh, and uh, uh, any other uh, microorganism do not cause diseases to our plants. Uh, our plants grow very healthily. Our plants are growing healthy means we will get a uh, high yielding. Uh, in this manner, this vermicompost is helpful to us. Uh, and the second thing, uh, it increases soil fertility. As just now we discussed it, that uh, it may increase uh, biodiversity. 
is uh, here also biodiversity is there uh, or oh, rhizobium bacteria that uh, increases uh, nitrogen levels in the soil uh, in this manner uh, these vermicompost increases the soil fertility levels uh, different types of uh, elements also sodium potassium magnesium other elements uh, may also increases uh, with the help of these uh, vermicompost uh, and uh, it is easy to prepare and easy to use uh, a little bit of knowledge is required for the preparation of uh, these vermicompost uh, and uh, no harmful effects are there by using the vermicompost uh, that's why we have to use vermicompost don't use chemical fertilizer so use only these uh, organic uh, vermicompost okay it will give us uh, better results next uh, it is helpful to promote biodiversity different uh, bacteria and uh, microorganisms grow along with the earthworms uh, and uh, they help us uh, for the production of uh, uh, food materials uh, to increase the food materials uh, and uh, increases uh, flowers uh, fruits production yes uh, it increases the flowers and fruits production fruits number of fruits are increased means uh, the yield is increased so these are the some of the uses of vermicompost uh, increases the disease resistance in plants uh, increases soil fertility it is easy to prepare and use uh, helpful to promote biodiversity increases flowers fruits production is uh, yes, uh, here uh, a small uh, lab activity is there uh, just to observe the lab activity okay vermicompost hmm? vermicompost preparation lab activity is here uh, for this vermicompost uh, preparation uh, okay. in our garden uh, we have to use this vermicompost it will give us better results uh, for this purpose uh, okay observe here what are the materials required leaves dry leaves and uh, dry cow dung soil soil um, soil is essential and uh, earthworms these are the earthworms also required for the preparation of vermicompost little amount of water also we have to pour is yes, uh, to maintain uh, humidity levels wet conditions uh, 30 to 40 percentage uh, uh, we have to sprinkle a little amount of water uh, every 2 to 3 hours uh, we have to place it uh, at certain um, place is yes, uh, after 60 days uh, we get the manure here uh, in uh, one bucket uh, of uh, vermicompost we are preparing uh, at our home uh, whatever the household waste material uh, we have to pour in this one a uh, uh, little amount of uh, soil also we have to place uh, and uh, take care not to place the glass materials uh, and uh, also plastic materials uh, plastic bags uh, okay remove the plastic materials uh, from the uh, waste material which we are using uh, for our vermicompost preparation yes uh, we have to pour little amount of water uh, uh, to maintain wet conditions uh, after 60 days uh, we will get the first time manure we will get the first time manure how many days 60 days uh, Okay, sixty days we are getting the first manure, and second time we will get after forty uh, uh, to fifty days, part forty to forty-five days. This one is a very helpful one. It it increases the fertility levels and also increases the disease resistance capacity. as just now we discussed it about the disease resistance capacity no diseases no bacteria will cause uh, disease to plants uh, our crop plants uh, 
at that time our crop yielding also more and it also maintain wet condition which vermicompost uh, maintain a uh, uh, wet condition uh, and it also helpful uh, to maintain the biodiversity also different types of uh, bacteria helpful bacteria also grow in in the soil uh, whenever we are using the vermicompost uh, it will give us better results vermicompost give us better results okay today what are the topics we discussed first is the soil testing and second one is the vermicompost and next we are discussing about panchgavya third topic panchgavya all are helpful to increase the food products yes panchgavya panch panch is the english hindi word panch means five yes what are the five ingredients here five ingredients curd okay first one is the curd ghee milk and cow urine cow dung these are the five main ingredients of panchgavya mix cow dung and cow ghee okay we have to mix cow dung and, and um, yes cow dung and cow ghee we have to mix it then we have to settle it for four days is yes, um, on fifth day add urine milk and curd of cow also add uh, kallu coconut water and uh, sugar cane juice to the mixture what we have to add uh, okay these things uh, kallu coconut water and sugar cane juice we have to add to the mixture is yes, this is the preparation of uh, panchgavya is yes, uh, here uh, uh, and uh, and then add banana paste settle it uh, for 10 days how many days we have to settle it uh, 10 days stir the material morning and uh, evening uh, then you will get the panchagavya the only sprayer type of manure only sprayer type of manure we are getting uh, when we use this manure uh, we will get a uh, high yielding uh, how much uh, the yielding increases um, 3% of panchagavya is useful uh, to grow crop uh, with a uh, higher yielding uh, okay we will get a uh, good results uh, with uh, panchagavya fertilizers uh, yes uh, these are the things uh, now uh, helpful for the production of uh, of food products uh, to increase uh, more food products uh, better uh, food products uh, we will uh, produce uh, with the help of uh, these methods uh, some of the methods are helpful and uh, next uh, now time to evaluation okay note down these questions uh, in your notebook uh, first question soil sample ph is right uh, then the soil alkaline or acidic alkaline or acidic second one define vermi compost define vermi compost define vermi compost third one what are the ingredients of panchgavya next one how do farmers know what type of crop need to be cultivated another one which one is eco friendly chemical fertilizer or organic manure which one is the eco friendly one whether chemical fertilizer or organic manure okay thank you thank you very much